Welcome to the Willow Historic District. Today's home tour focuses on such a special historic neighborhood here in Central Phoenix. Behind me is an amazing Tudor Revival home and it has incredible architecture. The goal of this project was really to focus on the home's integrity, making sure that we highlighted some of its original design details, but not without sacrificing design. So let's go inside and check it out to see how we found that happy balance of both. So from the moment that you walk into this incredible home, it's easy to see why it's so special. You walk in and you have these incredible vaulted ceilings with these exposed rafters. Now this is of course is a design detail that people love adding to their homes today, but it's original to the 1930s. Just like these etched concrete floors. It's another popular trend to have stained concrete, but these have been etched since the 1930s and give such a special feature. This space was really all about enhancing what we had to work with. So you have these incredible ceilings, these beautiful floors, and they all open up to this centralized fireplace. Therefore, the furniture placement was one of the key things we focused on to really enhance the space. So that way you have open sight lines and you have clear views of everything that the space offers. One of my favorite features is this incredible archway because of how it connects the living room with the dining room. At only 1,400 square feet, this historic home definitely is on the smaller size, but it has such a big feeling inside. And so much of that has to do with how the spaces are laid out, how they flow, and the proportions used within them. One of the biggest details with designing this home was selecting scale appropriate items. In this dining room, we focused on enhancing this chandelier. The old one was so small, we removed it and brought in this fixture instead. It gives a little bit more of a modern flair, again helping to find that best of old and new, but also creates such a focal point and really helps to establish the space and establish the dining room. Well, let's go check out the kitchen next and see what it has in store. So as you enter into this kitchen, it is a classic black and white design, which is totally appropriate for this home. But it's also a galley style design, so it tends to be on the smaller side. So to make this kitchen feel larger, we came in and updated the appliances so that they all match. This is really important to do to have a cohesive design in your space. My favorite thing though, we removed the microwave and actually relocated it to the pantry, replacing it with this slim exhaust hood. Just lifting this up creates so much more space in front of you when you're working at the stove, and as a result, it really does make the kitchen feel bigger too. Greetings from the pink bathtub that you wish you had. Now, this pink bathtub has absolutely seen a lot because, as you can see, it is original, just like all of this bathroom tile, back to the 1930s. So, so many of you watching at home are probably thinking that this is terrible, and you might even hate your own vintage tile, but it's really important to remember that this is a historic home and in a historic neighborhood. So, it was all about preservation and making the most of pink. Before the walls were also pink and that was just way too much. But I came in and painted them a dark charcoal gray. Now this is a really dark color for a small space, but it totally helps to enhance the tile and really help to highlight it, making this bathroom feel so much more designed and curated instead of just pink tile. And it really helps to find, again, the best of old and new. As you walk through this entire home, it's easy to see and notice so many special characteristics like the original wood doors and the glass doorknobs. Super special features that you don't find in every house, but they're carried throughout and have such a great unified vibe. One of my favorite things though, as we come into these bedroom spaces, they're a little on the smaller side, so to help enhance them and really make them feel larger, we actually focus on adding curtains into these spaces as well taking them from floor to ceiling and wider on each side of the windows as well to really help enhance the windows and make spaces feel so much larger. But within this space, check out the primary bathroom. We took these walls and painted them a dark navy blue. This created so much contrast against that vintage white tile and really helped to elevate this vintage space. Thanks so much for joining me on this historic home tour in the Willow Historic District highlighting this incredible Tudor Revival home where the design was all about finding the right balance between old and new and making the vintage vibes better than ever. To see more of this transformation and so many others, check me out on Instagram as The House Judge.